Welcome to our new topic for today. I'm Nevi, and we will be discussing today about perimeter. What is the meaning of perimeter? Perimeter is a continuous line forming the boundary of a closed geometrical figure. This is our shape. One side of the shape measured 5 cm, and the other side is 5 cm too. So it means that the measurement of the other two sides are 5 cm each. So our shape is a square. A square has four equal sides. We are now going to learn how to get the perimeter of a square. We will abbreviate it with PS. So our formula is PS equals S plus S plus S plus S. Perimeter of square is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So the perimeter of square is 20 centimeter. In our formula of the square, PS equals S plus S plus S plus S. This formula can still be simplified. PS equals how many S's do we have here? Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 S's. So our formula can be 4 times S, or it can be written to PS equals 4S. The perimeter of square is 4 times, what is the value of S? Yes, 5. So PS equals 4 times 5. So our answer is 20 centimeter. It is the same if we add the four S's. We are now on the perimeter of a rectangle and we will call it PR. This is our rectangle and the width of a rectangle is five centimeter and its length is 10 centimeter. So it means the other width is five centimeter and the other length is 10 centimeter too. Our formula of the rectangle is the same as in the square. We will add all the sides. L plus L plus W plus W. Therefore, the perimeter of rectangle is 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5. So the perimeter of rectangle is 30 centimeter. This is our previous example. And this is our formula for the rectangle. PR equals L plus L plus W plus W. And we know the rectangle has two equal lengths and two equal widths. It means we can simplify the formula. Our formula will become PR equals 2 times L plus 2 times W. And we can simply write it PR equals 2L plus 2W. PR equals 2 times 10 because the length is 10 plus 2 times 5 because the width is 5. Therefore, PR equals 20 plus 10. So our final answer is 30 centimeter. It is the same in our answer when we add all the sides. We will now try how to get the perimeter of a triangle. We will put some different values 
on the three sides. One side will be 3 cm. The other is 6 cm. And the third side is 9 cm. So we will put PT for the perimeter of a triangle. This will be the formula. PT equals S plus S plus S. In this triangle, all the sides are not equal. So it means we cannot simplify it. Just add all the three sides. Perimeter of the triangle equals what are the values of the three sides? 3 cm plus 6 cm plus 9 cm. So the perimeter of the triangle is 18 cm. Our last example is a polygon. First step is to count how many sides of the polygon are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 sides on the polygon. We will put some values on the polygon. 5 cm, 8 cm, 10 cm, 2 cm, 3 cm, and 4 cm. These are the values of the polygon. As you may see, the values are dissimilar. This is the formula of the polygon with having dissimilar values. Write S six times and add them all. Perimeter of polygon equals adding the values of the polygon. 5 plus 8 plus 10 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Perimeter of the polygon is 32. That's our topic for today. See you in the next lesson. Bye!